Hello everyone, welcome back to the pre-recorded video. In today's video, we're looking at the Metro Division. We're continuing on with our standings preview for the season, looking at how we did last year in the standings predictions, and how I'm looking at the standings shaping up for the Metro Division right now. We'll get to all that coming up right now. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video here at the Indian Hockey Channel. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below. Thank you for all of your support. We're able to help you guys. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below so we can all discuss in today's video. Now, in today's video, as we've been talking about over the past little while, I'm going to be doing a quick preview here for the Metro Division. Uh, we've done the Central Division at this point. We've done the Pacific Division, so we're looking at the Metro Division now. Last year, I'll put my preseason pre predictions up for the Metro Division uh, on the screen. Uh, just to read it to you guys, I had the New Jersey Devils winning the Metro Division and the President's Trophy with 117 points coming off a playoff appearance the year prior. I had 111 points for Carolina. Right behind them for second spot in the uh, Metro. I had the Rangers 102 points at third in the Metro. I had the Penguins at 97 points. That was good for fourth in the Metro. I had them making the playoffs. I had the Jackets 88 points for fifth in the Metro. I was 86 points for seventh in the Metro. Caps 81 points for eight, seventh in the Metro. And Flyers 60 points for eighth in the Metro. So that's where I had my preseason predictions. Now comparing these to what actually happened. So in actual reality, the Rangers wound up winning the division last year with 114 points. First in the Metro Division. So, like I said, if I'm within four points, higher or lower, I consider that a win. If I'm one placement higher or lower, I consider that a win. So, for the Rangers, I picked them to be third in the division. So, definitely a little bit off on that. And I picked them to have 102 points. So, 12 points lower. So, I definitely take the L on that one. That was one of my worst predictions. It seemed being a toss between the Metro, but I was a little bit off on that. So, I did get that a little bit wrong. For Carolina, I was spot on for both. They were second in the Metro. They finished the season with 111 points. I think this was the only team I got right on the dot completely right with my predictions so I was really good in predicting the Carolina Hurricanes finishing with 111 points. Uh, third in the Metro was New York Islanders with 94 points. Now I wasn't too far off in the points so I was only 8 lower. I originally had them having 86 points so I wasn't too far off but I was a decent amount off. And instead of being third in the Metro I had them being 6. I was definitely off in the placements so I was a little bit off there. And at fourth in the Metro Division another team who wound up did make in the playoffs was the Washington Capitals. They had a pretty good season last year finished with 91 points. Wasn't overly great but they were able to sneak into a playoff spot they were a lot higher than i expected 10 points higher than i originally expected also i predicted them to be seventh in the metro not fourth so i was definitely off on that one i feel like a fifth in the metro division that was the pittsburgh penguins to finish with 88 points just out of a playoff spot i originally had them fourth in the metro with 97 points so it was definitely way off on the point total but i did get their placement quite close as they were fifth in the metro not fourth so interesting note there at sixth in the metro was the philadelphia flyers uh, they finished with 87 points i originally predicted them to have 60 points and be 8th in the Metro, so I was definitely went off on that. They finished 27 points higher than I originally predicted. 7th in the Metro was the Devils. They finished with a point total of 81 points. I originally predicted them to win the President's Trophy and had 117 points. So I was way off on the New Jersey Devils. Completely wrong about them. So they were a team who I was not anywhere close to being right about. And then if you look at the Blue Jackets, I originally predicted them to have 88 points and be 5th in the Metro Division. They wound up finishing with 66 points and 8th in the Metro Division. So it was way off on teams like the Flyers, the Jackets, the Devils, even the Rangers I wasn't too close on. So the Metro Division was a really hard division to predict last year and I really didn't do overly well on it besides getting the Carolina Hurricanes spot on. So besides that, not really a whole bunch that I predicted right last year. So that leads me to my predictions for this year. So at this point in time after the offseason losses, additions, what these teams have done in the offseason. So at this current point in time, I'm back to picking the New Jersey Devils first in the Metro Division. I don't know we did that last year, but I had them finishing with 115 points, a 55-22-5 and five record, 34 points higher than last year. I know that's quite a bit of a step ahead, but I do think they have what it takes to be the top team in the Metro Division this year. Uh, they add Markstrom, they add Pesci, they add Dylan, a lot of interesting players. So I do have the Devils taking that step forward, being the top and dominant team in the Metro Division this year. At second in the Metro Division, I have the Rangers, only have them finishing three points lower than last year with 111 points with a 53-24-5 and five record. Did some interesting things this offseason added a guy like Riley Smith, lost a couple decent depth players, some in-season acquisitions, so then make some decent moves, and I think they are a tiny bit worse than they were last year, but I don't see them taking too much of a step back, so I saw the Rangers being uh, head held high and really good next year. Third in the Metro Division, I have the Carolina Hurricanes. I predicted them quite well last year. Hopefully we'll do the same this year. I have them with the record of 48, 28, and 6, 402 points. So I have them taking a little bit of a step back, finishing 9 points lower than last year. Third in the Metro, still a playoff team, still a really good team still in triple digits but I do see him taking a little bit of a step back. Fourth in the Metro Division and last 
wildcard spot in the Eastern Conference. I have the Washington Capitals. Had them replicating their season from last year. One point higher than last year. 92 points with a record of 44, 34, and 4. So I do think this team's going to be a really hard team to play against. I mean, like, look at their offseason. Add Dubois, Mangiapane, Logan Thompson, Jacob Chikrin, Matt Roy. A lot of really good additions. So I expect the Caps to stay just ahead of all those other teams trying to catch them. And just enough to keep in a playoff spot. At 5th in the Metro Division, I have the Pittsburgh Penguins. I have them, once again, finishing with 88 points. Exactly the same as last year. A record of 37, 31, and 14. Not too much different than last year. Like we said, they add uh, Kevin Hayes, Cody Glass, Matt Grizzlick. Uh, they keep a guy like Alex Ndelkovic. Lose a couple of lower-end guys. They don't have Jake Gensel this year. So I do think they're poised to maybe take a little bit of a step back. Could seem potentially contend for a playoff spot. But at this current point in time, I do have the Pittsburgh Penguins wind up missing just ever so slightly and to finish with the same point total as last year. Sixth in the Metro Division is the New York Islanders, in my opinion. I've been finishing with 86 points, eight lower than last year, with a record of 40, 36, and 6. I just think they're going to have another solid season. Wouldn't surprise me if they could sneak into a playoff spot, but they add Anthony Duclair. That was basically the extent of their offseason, so I do think they will be a slight bit worse than last year, just because there's a whole bunch of other teams who really improved in that Eastern Conference and Metro Division, so I do see them finishing sixth in the Metro. At seventh in the Metro, I have the Columbus Blue Jackets. I have them taking a little bit of a step forward, not too much. I have them finishing with 80 points. That's 14 higher than last year with a record of 36, 38, and 8. So it's not a whole bunch different than they were last year, and they're still going to be a bottom three team in the Eastern Conference. But I do have them taking a step forward, which will be really good for a team with the Jackets. Uh, they added Monaghan. Unfortunately, lost Goudreau in an uh, unfortunate accident. They also wind up losing a guy like Patrick Laine. They lose Boakvist, Bean. So they do take a couple of subtractions. I do feel like they got a little bit better, and they're going to have some more youth on that team. But I do think this team is going to be poised for a little bit of an improvement but not enough to be a playoff team so i still have them being under 500 and at ace in the metro dead last i once again am predicting the philadelphia flyers to be dead last in the metro i think a lot of teams are going to be more prepared for the flyers this year i think the flyers call a lot of people off by surprise last year so i think they're going to be more prepared for the flyers on top of that i think the flyers got a little bit worse they add mixkov uh, they lose a couple of decent depth guys in free agency didn't make any trades so they really didn't do a whole bunch i really think that they just stayed the same at this point and in my opinion I think the Flyers are poised to take a little bit of a step back and wind up finishing last in the Metro so that's my current predictions for the Metro division at this point in time Jersey 1 NYR 2 Carolina 3 Washington 4 those are playoff teams Pittsburgh 5 NYI 6 Columbus 7 and Philadelphia 8 those are non-playoff teams so I'd love to hear your guys thoughts on the Metro division down in the comment section below how do you think I did last year on my Metro division predictions uh, do you think I really did well on any of them or do you think like I think that was a really hard division to predict and I pretty much got a lot of them wrong and what do you think about my Metro Division predictions for this upcoming season do you think I'm going to be right on most of them do you think I predicted well or do you think I should have changed some of my predictions definitely love to hear your thoughts on all of that down in the comment section below that's all I want to talk about for today remember to like this video and if you're like to remember to subscribe down below thank you for all your support we're able to without you guys so if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe button down below don't forget to leave a comment down in the comment section below so you can also discuss today's video also a blog talking about news rumors analysis stuff like that so you can check that out I've linked down in the description below. And I'll see you guys all for the next video. See you guys soon.